what's the best approach to take when you are on a spiritual ascension journey and old trauma resurfaces? How do you deal with that? You've been ingrained to now believe that you are ascending spiritually. What do you do when old trauma resurfaces? Why is the universe sending you old trauma? I mean, I thought you got to that spiritual peak, spiritual plateau. All these questions I myself asked today. That was my story today. I felt amazing spiritual ascension. I felt myself to go to be going in a very positive, high elevated direction. But at the same time, I felt myself to be once again putting people on a pedestal and dealing with the effects of it, dealing with the consequences of it. The thing is that I am on a spiritual path. I am on a spiritual journey. I am not supposed to be having any means of grappling with that kind of element of putting people on a pedestal. I put out meditations, guided meditations, to help people raise their awareness and stop putting other people on pedestals. What do I do when I face that kind of thing myself? Good question. That's what today's video is about. What do you do when you are grappling with a situation whereby all those amazing achievements are as if they never happen? But the thing is that it doesn't last an entire day. And because it doesn't last an entire day, the confusion is even worse. The confusion is a lot more increased because on the one hand, you know you're on a spiritual ascension journey. But on the other hand, why am I putting this person on a pedestal? And why am I suffering the consequences as a result? I shall tell you today. In the last few videos, I've been talking about the concept. I've been talking about the concept of realizing that your body and your subconscious mind are playing catch up. And if you're going to push them, they will be no different than that little child that throws a tantrum. They will be no different. When a child realizes that you're pushing them aside, when a child realizes that you're not giving them the, the attention that they desire, you're pushing them aside effectively, you're pushing them away, you're distracted, not interested in them, they will do something which makes sure that you get, that they get rather, your attention. And the ego, the subconscious mind, the body, all work that way. They all work that way. You could be in whatever spiritual ascension journeys you like, but you got to bear in mind the fact that, at least in my case, for over 30 years, I fed my brain the ego, the 3D dimension, the me versus them reality, polarity. I didn't let myself believe that we are all equal. I didn't allow myself to believe that I'm equal to everybody around me. It's only in the last almost, it's almost almost six months I've been doing that. But prior to that, I didn't. So what is it I expect exactly? My entire my entire sorry, my entire body and subconscious mind to just be on board, be there with me, and have a full change? That's not realistic. There are spiritual teachers that actually preach this concept of you could change your whole mindset. Just do this means of meditation and you will change your whole mindset and everything will change thereafter. Thing is, that's not true. It doesn't work like that. How does it work? What is the power of a guided meditation in particular? It helps you. It helps you achieve that which you're trying to manifest. It helps you attain higher goals and a higher peak of ascension. Of course it does. But not perfection. Not perfection. 
you know, today I had kind of those opposing forces. On the one hand, I did amazing meditations. I was doing meditations, which I was able to do regardless of who was looking at me. At one point, I removed my shoes and I didn't care about people looking at me or whatever. I felt that to be a very powerful means of ascension. But on the other hand, and I was actually challenged, somebody challenged me and they said, what are you doing? It's not good for your feet, blah, blah, blah. You could hurt your feet with glass. I said, don't worry about it, I'm fine. Point is that I wasn't deterred. I wasn't, it, didn't, it didn't deter me the fact that I was challenged. Nonetheless, I put somebody on a pedestal and I suffered the consequences hereafter. I suffered the consequences as a result. That happened, all happened today in the same day within a short amount of time. Why am I telling you this? Why am I telling you this? I'm trying to tell you that when you are on a spiritual ascension journey, you could have two opposing forces that will come and meet you at the same time. Don't worry about it though. Don't take it very seriously. Enjoy the ride. Have you ever seen somebody who went to a amusement park like Disneyland and before they go in, they thought to them, they think to themselves, okay, I'm going to go on all these rides. And when I'm done, I'm going to be standing here again. So what did I gain? What was the gain exactly? I didn't go from A to B. I stood at A the whole time. Or I went from A to, in the middle, back to A. What's the point? Have you ever seen somebody do that kind of thing? My question before should have been, have you ever actually seen somebody do that kind of thing? No. People go to have fun. Enjoy it. It's part of the fun. It's part of the ride. And part of enjoying the ride is knowing that when you get to that peak of the ride, you might even feel sickly. But so what? Enjoy the ride. That's exactly how life is. Did you ever go to watch a movie in the movie theater, or as they call it in England, the cinema? And... You go out to watch some popcorn. Sorry, you go out and buy some popcorn. In the movie. And you come back in and you're like, wait, why why have I missed why have I missed the part? What's going on? These are all parallels. Sorry, these are all parables of what it's like on the spiritual journey when you're ascending spiritually, but at the same time, you're at times it feels like you, like you never went anywhere. Or at times it feels like you missed something. There's a gap. And it's, it's like not in the right place, right? In the case of the amusement park, the guy never went anywhere. The child, rather. Went to the amusement park, had fun, came right back there. So what was the gain, right? But they had fun, enjoyed themselves. In the case of, of the um, movie theater, the person went out in the middle of the movie, Expected to come back and see exactly where things were when he left to get his popcorn. But they weren't. They were at a very sad point. Right? Why were they at a sad point? He was expecting to enjoy this movie and he was having a really good time until then. Point is that that's the way it goes. There's good points. There's good perks. There's times when you're ascending. Nobody can affect you. Because you're on that spiritual plateau and you've done all the means of helping yourself with guided meditations and other means of helping yourself. And there are times when it's going to resurface. Don't worry about it. Have fun with it. Today I was um, troubled about something. And I thought to myself, Jessica, just imagine you are acting in a movie. If you are acting in a movie, would this actually be troubling you? You're just putting on an act. Don't be troubled by it. And the power of that really worked. I'm sharing with you great tips to get you to realize that you got to enjoy this world. You got to enjoy this life. It's a great life. And if, you learn, if you've learned amazing lessons in this life, like I have, you'll learn to appreciate and love your life. You love your life. By realizing life is amusing, and although at times it seems like you haven't gone anywhere, you back the square one. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Enjoy the ride. It was a bit of a ride. You had some fun. And that, and therefore, because you had some fun, you are not 
affected by the situation, you're not affected by the outcome, you're not affected by the, the um, unfolding of events, which did not go exactly as planned, it's okay. Realize that life takes you places, but you don't actually plan to go to those places. Because if you make a plan to go somewhere in life, very often your plans won't come to fruition. Your means of manifesting those plans will not come to fruition. So enjoy that right and say thank you to God for working through the universe by giving you and delivering to you that which you desire that which he desires, which you often enough see the benefits and the great outcome. And in hindsight, you can look back and say, wow, it was really worth it. That's today's video. I love you so much. I'm wishing you high vibes. High frequency, feel free to share away with your family, friends, peers, and neighbors, wherever you like. Feel free to press the like button and enjoy the amazing gifts if you're my 100th subscriber. And I'm wishing you to, I'm giving you the full permission to drop a comment down below. Any thoughts or comments, please leave in the comment section down below. I love you so much. Wishing you high vibes, high frequency. I love you.